Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at simplifying radical expressions when we have mixed operations. So we have write the following expression in simplest radical form and we're looking at 16 radical 21 divided by 2 radical 7 minus 5 radical 12. Now for examples of this type we have two main operations going on. We're dividing two radicals and then we're subtracting another radical. So one way to help you kind of distinguish, distinguish like which order to go in, you could think of the order of operations. And since we're really looking at division and subtraction, we could take care of the division of radicals first. So we'll call the next line, line two, but remember, when we divide radical expressions, we divide the numbers outside the radicals, and then we divide the numbers inside the radicals. So if we take this piece by piece, 16 divided by 2 is 8, and now we throw on our radical, and we're dividing 21 divided by 7. We're dividing the numbers inside the radical. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. And we're still subtracting the quantity 5 radical 12. But if you'll recall that when we subtract radicals, it's important to note that the numbers under the radical have to match. A lot of students will mess up here and they'll do something like 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 minus 12 is negative 9, but there's no way we're going to start marching into the imaginary numbers. We can't take the square root of negatives just yet. So this tells us that we need to break down 12. And the way we're going to do that is we always refer to the perfect squares. Now this list will go on infinitely, but for a number like 12, we need to find the largest perfect square factor of 12, and in this case it's going to be 4. So now for the next line, we're going to simplify radical 12. So we're just going to rewrite, we have 8 radical 3 minus, and now we have 5, and we could break down radical 12 into radical 4 times radical 3, because remember, we have 4 times 3 is 12, so we could break radical 12 into two radicals, radical 4, radical 3. But the reason why we're choosing this Notice now that we have matching radical 3's. So for the next line, this is really going to help us, the fact that we have matching radicals. For line 4, we'll call it, we have 8 radical 3 minus, and now we have 5, and now remember the square root of 4 is simply 2. So we have 5 times 2 radical 3. So now, so now as we go forward in this problem, all we have to do is multiply the numbers outside the radical. So we have 8 radical 3 minus, and now we have 5 times 2 times radical 3. But remember, when we multiply radical expressions, we can multiply the numbers outside. So we have 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 10 radical 3. So now for the last line to finish this problem, remember, when we subtract radicals, it's important to note that we keep the radical the same. So we have radical 3, but we're subtracting 8 minus 10. And 8 minus 10 is negative 2. So this tells us that our final answer in simplest radical form is negative 2 radical 3. Remember, simplest radical form, all that means is that the number under the radical cannot be broken down any further into perfect square factors. Notice the only perfect square factor of 3 is 1, so that tells us we can't go any further. Okay, well this is going to conclude this simplifying radicals with mixed operations video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.